prepare the creditors account for 30 june 2020 so this will be our month end and creditors control account so creditors control account can also be known as your trade payables so in the requirements we are only required to do one account and we will name that the trade payables account or you can say your creditors control account i'll abbreviate that for you so let's start off with our secret the secret formula to accounting so we have your debit your and underneath your debits we have your assets your drawings and your expenses and underneath your credit you have your income liability and your equity so you can just memorize it as daddy kyle okay so what this means is that the original way in all these um, items operate is that your assets your drawings and your expenses will increase on the debit side and your income liability and your equity will increase on your credit side and what we are focused on right now is your liability because your creditors your trade payables they are a liability because you owe your creditors you owe your suppliers you have to pay them back for all the goods that you have taken on credit and they will increase on the credit side and when it decreases when you pay off your debts when you have less people that owe you all of the transactions that relate or that um, lead to your decrease in your liabilities will always be recorded on your debit side okay so let's start with the first transaction first june 2020 your opening balance is 60,000. Purchase goods on credit for 120,000. So we purchased goods on credit for 120,000. Meaning we had purchases. And the reason why we recorded on this credit side is because we owe more to our suppliers so when we buy goods on credit we will pay at a later stage meaning we owe these people we haven't paid them yet and we have to pay them at a later stage so meaning we have more debts so purchases of a hundred and twenty thousand and we record that on your credit side and then we have settlement to creditors eighty five thousand dollars settlement to creditors we are paying off our accounts so when we pay off our accounts our liabilities our debts they become less and we record it on your debit side so we have bank of eighty five thousand then we are done with that returns outward so we bought goods we purchased goods but these goods were not up to standard, so we returned these goods. So when we purchased goods in the beginning, we were owing. Now when we return them, they have to refund us that money. So the returns outwards is your $27,000 returns outwards. So we do not owe them for those purchases as we are returning the goods. We are done with that. Discount we discount received discount received is when we have received discount from our creditors or our suppliers maybe we have paid our accounts early so discount received of 3500 and that is all those are all the transactions that we have now we need to find out the the columns which one is the biggest one the transactions on your debit side or on your credit side so it will be the ones on your credit side and this amounts to 180 which you put in both blocks always always and then we take the difference between this and all of these and that will be our closing balance So we say 180,000 minus your 85,000, your 27,000 and your 3,500, which will give us $64,500.
and then that will be your opening balance for the month of July because we did for the end of June and the next month we have is July so always remember trade payables is a liability we owe these creditors and we always record anything that increases our debts. We will record them on the credit side. Anything that decreases our debts, meaning we do not have to pay them that much anymore, like we are paying off debt, so we have less creditors to pay, we will record that on your debit side. Keep this formula in mind. Always keep it in mind, and to make it more simple, we can summarize it as this, your debits, your credits. So you have your daddy, Kyle. Then we know this is your debit. You have your assets, your drawings, and your expenses. And we have your credits. Underneath your credits, we have your income, your liability, and your equity. So if you get confused between which one is your expense and your equity, you can just say your expenses are always paid by daddy. So you know that it belongs underneath your debit. Thank you very much. Please comment, subscribe for more videos, and comment on what you would like to see next. Thank you.